How long have you lived here? All my life. What is your favorite place in Cape Town? Um, I have to say the Concha. It's like the only place that I I can relate to because I've been going there ever since I was a little girl. One of the things that I actually love to do the most because I think it's a really fun hobby is makeup. I adore doing makeup and not the typical glam makeup. So it's kind of gory. <laughs> I love blood. <laughs> My dad is a movie, uh, is a movie critic, horror movie critics. He actually that writes. That completely makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> like he actually like writes like <laughs> horror, Fangoria, fan different magazines like that. So like as a child, he actually showed me like a bunch of horror movies. So I am so into this type of thing because of him. I had that door. totally makes sense. Yeah. You're growing up seeing great movies with great makeups. Are you aware of the tax increase in Puerto Rico and what is that? Yes, I am well aware about it. Most of us actually have a minimum wage pay. To us, it's a lot of difference. Bottle of water there was probably 115 or something like that. It's actually 175, maybe two dollars, and it's water that you can actually get for free in the rain. And sadly, we have to pay like two dollars for it. We have a really big debt. They actually want to put some income more taxes that we can't pay. Economically, we're actually really fucked up here. Like, people don't really see it because they see Gucci stores, Cartier and stuff like that, but people start leaving the island because they can't pay their houses here or there's no jobs to actually have here. What is your biggest fear? I don't like to say that I'm afraid of something per se because I don't like to give fear the pleasure of controlling my life. I like to say, you know, I'm in control of everything that I do, I'm happy, I don't fear life, I actually accept it how it is, if I have trouble, I just work with it. If you had a choice to live in another decade, which would it be, and why? I would actually suck living in other areas because I'm a really revolutionary woman. I would probably be killed or <laughs> maybe thrown to jail for speaking too loudly or for saying what I think. But I would definitely say that I love the flower child era. I love the 60s and the 70s. They're the more funky ones. They have really great music, taste that they had, the spirit that they, you know, they were showing out to people, the things that they, they believed in. That love is everything and that love is all that you really need. And I say that love is my religion, actually. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.